Hey, my name is George, a part-time machine learning master student at Georgia Tech, a part-time YouTuber, and a full-time Fang software engineer. I have something super exciting to show you guys. If you watched my previous video, I talked about how Siri isn't the best personal assistant, but I still use it for productivity. Over the past few months, I have looked at alternatives such as using the ChatGPT voice mode. Hey there, tell me a fun fact. Sure. Did you know that sea otters hold hands while they sleep to keep from drifting apart? This behavior is known as rafting, and it helps them stay connected to their family or group. Cool, thank you. As you can tell, the conversation is not in real time. However, on July 30th, ChatGPT launched Advanced Voice Mode, which includes real-time emotion-sensing conversations. Apple also released Siri AI, which is now available in developer beta. I do have ChatGPT+, Plus, so I tried getting both of these new voice AI agents. However, upon trying to download this new Advanced Voice Mode, I noticed that ChatGPT did mention that this is only available for a few select users while it is in alpha. I did find this article by Ethan Mollick, who was able to get both, and I wanna share with you the audio transcript of ChatGPT talking to Siri. Okay, so I got the new Siri AI, and I want you to actually talk to her. So I'm just gonna say, hey Siri to activate her, and then ask her a question, okay? Sure, sounds like fun. Hey go Siri. Ahead. Well, how did it go? You Dan, need to ask her a question. There. What can I do oh. for you? Hi Siri, what's the weather like today? The National Weather Service has issued an air quality alert until tomorrow. Expect some clear skies today. Daytime temperatures will hover around 95 degrees with overnight lows around 72. Pretty warm out. Anything else you'd like to know? Um, why don't you ask one more question? Sure. Siri, what's your favorite animal? Software doesn't usually get to choose one, but I'll say Komodo dragon. What's yours? Now, I am a fan of octopuses. There's something fascinating about their intelligence and adaptability. Octopuses are intelligent and adaptable. They can use tools, learn through observation, and are sensitive to pain. They can also navigate mazes, recognize individual people, and learn how to unscrew a jar. It's this is impressive. Wikipedia. Well, it sure sounds like Siri's been doing her homework. Anything else you'd like to know or chat about? No, what do you think of Siri? Siri's definitely got some interesting facts up her sleeve. It's cool how AI okay. assistants- I found this on the web for definitely got some interesting facts. See, she's not actually yeah. doing that good a job, is she? Well, she might be a bit more focused on providing direct answers, but I guess each AI has its own style. Anything else you want to try asking? Nope, thank you. Okay, that was honestly insane, and I have two immediate thoughts. First, in the article, Ethan mentions that Siri is still not great. If you give it a basic command, such as you wanna grab dinner at this place and watch a movie at this time, it's not gonna be able to plan that day out for you. There is a reason for why it's not able to do this at the moment. Apple built Siri AI with the idea of privacy, safety, and security. So as a result, this AI is actually running right on your phone. But still, this is just a start. And I'd love for Siri just to have some minor improvements in terms of being able to set up reminders better, set up meetings better, and just handle sort of my day-to-day -day tasks. ChatGPT voice is completely different. The model doesn't exist just on your phone. And beyond the technical details of how complex the model is, my immediate thoughts is, based on using the voice mode currently for many months, this feels completely different because it's like talking to a real person. That's because you can just have an actual conversation, you can interrupt them, and everything is happening in real time. Beyond this just being a fun tool to have conversations with, I can see this being super useful in terms of teaching, in terms of learning a language. I will share my full thoughts about AI voice agents as a whole in another comprehensive video, so please subscribe to stay tuned for that. But I'm also curious to hear what your thoughts are before making this video. So comment below if you think you'll use an AI agent like this when it comes out.